Aubameyang acts slammed by Piers Morgan, but some fans disagree. Piers Morgan expressed his outrage after Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang was shamefully stripped of his role as Arsenal captain, but there are many who believe the right call was made in a decision that has left the fans divided. Arsenal announced the news on Tuesday morning, revealing the forward, 32, will also not be considered for their upcoming Premier League clash against West Ham on Wednesday. The decision was taken after Aubameyang made a third disciplinary breach last week, returning late after being given permission to go abroad last Wednesday to collect his sick mum and bring her back to England. Morgan, a renowned Arsenal fan, took to social media to write, shameful decision by Arteta. What a disgusting way to treat a man who went, with the club's full knowledge and permission, to help his sick mother. It came after a statement released by Arsenal, which read, following his latest disciplinary breach last week, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang will no longer be our club captain and will not be considered for selection for Wednesday's match against West Ham United. We expect all our players, particularly our captain, to work to the rules and standards we have all set and agreed. We are fully focused on tomorrow's match. Arsenal had agreed the striker would return to England later on Wednesday evening, in turn ensuring he would be available to train on Thursday morning. Instead, Aubameyang reportedly flew home on Thursday morning and due to current COVID protocols was unable to return to training until he had produced a negative PCR test. Sportsmail understands the latest incident has only amplified pre-existing concerns regarding Aubameyang's position as captain, with the decision now made amid worry of disruptions to the wider squad. Though Morgan is clearly an Arsenal fan who feels aggrieved by the predicament, there are a number who believe the right decision was made. One fan wrote, correct move. Has looked lazy on the pitch majority of the time, except against Spurs this season, and if he can't keep professional he doesn't deserve the captaincy. A surprised fan took to Twitter to write, didn't expect that, but very glad it happened, while another wrote, I think this is the best thing to do. Examples have to be made. I hope he still does well with the club before his contract runs out. One fan recognized that it's a difficult decision but insisted Arteta has made the right call. He wrote, difficult decision but I support Arteta here. He has to control his players. Another was rather more bold, insisting, best decision Arteta has made. The situation with Aubameyang has been turbulent for some time now. He was benched against Tottenham in March, again due to lateness, while he was also reprimanded in February over a possible COVID-19 regulations breach. Aubameyang, who has a £350,000 a week contract that runs until 2023, was given the captaincy under an Emery. He was absent from Arsenal's most recent victory over Southampton, with Arteta confirming he had been dropped and insisting they have non-negotiable rules. Regardless, a number of fans have, similarly to Morgan, jumped to the defense of their now former captain. One fan wrote, very bad move. Top players might reject signing for Arsenal because once they are out of form, Arsenal look for the slightest opportunity to throw them under the bus. Arsenal did the same to Mesut Ozil and now it's Oba. In response to an argument from a fan that the striker didn't deserve to be captain, another wrote, Oba carried us for three seasons and you're celebrating like that but it doesn't surprise me when you just pretend to be an Arsenal fan for Twitter followers. Another wrote, yes club rules are for everyone. But I think this is an ungrateful thankless announcement by the club for the man who has been our top scorer in all competitions since his arrival. And stood by the team when he could have left last season itself. Aubameyang has scored seven goals in 15 appearances in all competitions for Arsenal this season, but three of those came in his League Cup hat trick against championship side West Brom in August. His last goal was in the 3-1 win over Aston Villa on October 21.